So I'm teaching a class down at Flagler in illustration. So I've got all these kids, and, and I don't do, I never did animation, although I worked in some story development in the film, you know, as a storyboard or something. But if I was going to tell, as, you know, tell these kids that wanted to go into, you know, maybe theme park design, um, is it important that they know any of these animation programs you're talking about? How, how important is story to someone applying to theme park design? Or, or, you know, because you talked about environmental art, but should there, should there be story stuff involved? If they're trying to get it imagined. That's a good question. Okay. We generally are hiring people because, frankly, they work well with others. But we call it like, can you play well in the sandbox? In an interview, we'll get a real quick feel for, we're going to spend two years on a project, you need to be able to get along with other people. People who are difficult, or people who just, you know, you can just get a vibe for their uncooperative or something. But my response is, most of your students probably should know Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects. I mean, that, that's really at a minimum. Some of the story things can be taught to them. It's a plus if they have that feel for it, if they have that affinity for the Disney characters, for the whole range of the Disney characters, and, and it is what we do where we create these great stories and stuff. But I'm not saying it's absolutely necessary. It's a good question. It would really depend on each student. Well, your theme. Excuse me. It's okay. Yeah, you're good. It's good. Because um, the theme park scene, uh, um, I've never seen a theme park film that they make a, story, a movie about. But I've seen uh, it always goes from movie, and then the theme park supports that. So, but I, but theme parks are very story. Oriented and the reason that it kind of seems to work that way is because the story is already established in the realm. Correct. So it makes it a lot easier to, you know, you, you take a lot of history out of, out of it. No, that's well put. So, um, yeah, I was just wondering about, you know, should some, you know, a lot of the kids tonight took some story, story development, screenwriting, but, um, you know, do you think that kids that are majoring in illustration? would be maybe good to have, uh, you know, I'm particularly talking about portfolio stuff if they're applying to, you know, the Imagineering, uh, maybe some sequential art to, to show their story skills or would it be better if they submitted writing stuff or, you know. You know, there's so many disciplines at the studio, the Walt Disney Imagineering from, I mean, like I was saying earlier, from just concept sketches to, there's people who come in and they're just landscape people, there's hydraulic people. I, 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 would, I would argue that most people ought to take an improv class, an acting improv class. I think that gives you an affinity for working with other human beings. And it's going to help you with your story, and it's going to help you deal with other people. Yeah. So I would recommend that. Yeah, that, will, that will never hurt to be able to say, man, I can do this and this and this, and I'm comfortable with Photoshop, and I, but I also have a love for storytelling. Because it is what we do. That's a great suggestion. Yes, and it would be very interactive, wouldn't it? Yeah, improv, it, it's one of the hardest things to do. It, it's, you learn a lot from it. Yeah, thanks very much. Hey, you're welcome. It's a great question. That's it. That's, Good luck. It's Brett Waller, Big Baby Head Studios. Look up his work. He's awesome. Uh, nice. Do we have any, anyone else that didn't get to uh, ask George questions? I'm going to look really quick. Uh, or say he's asked what you would tell aspiring animators, but answered that, answered that already. Um, your, your major was film. In school, did it have a focus? Were you focused on theater? Uh, no, I chose film because, as I said earlier, I thought, you know what, I could use this in a lot of different ways. It really, film to me was like a, just a lot of trades. It's like. How to, I didn't learn how to be a plumber, but I learned how to do film, so I can always edit. And it's true, when I moved to Los Angeles, I worked as an editor on some very, very bad movies. We were actually cutting a trailer for a movie. I'm not going to tell you the title of this movie. It was so horrible. And down the hall from us, we kept hearing this music. They were cutting Star Wars. And we were like, God, what is that crap movie? Like, what a piece of crap that is that. You just never know. You just never know. Our movie <laughs> to went into the toilet. Who knew? Uh, Disney has a lot of princess movies. 
What about more male leads? Oh, it's a good question. Uh, that's a good question. I find there's just more appeal in the princess movies, and there's a lot of pressure from the parks for princess movies. We do a lot of business with the princesses in, in our parks. They, they're, they're very, very popular. Little girls dress up. It's, the little girls love this, the ability to project and to become Belle or to become you know, Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. So, I mean, that's not the reason that drives the movies, but if they just tend to be more emotional stories. You're asking a guy who played a poodle. Wearing a pink hat. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It, I, I've heard in, the, in movies directors put a piece of themselves in. So. That, that was me. I'm afraid that's me. Georgette nice. is me. In, in the nicest, best way, by the way. I'm happily married. Let's put that one. Awesome. Any, any, uh, any final comments, George? Maybe a quick word of inspiration for your adoring fans? You know what, if you have a passion for what you do and you really love, it'll just be, it's like the painting I do now. I paint every day. It's just a passion. I, I don't think of it as a chore. I just really, really love doing it. There's, there's no getting around it. I, I've been lucky, and the second thing is, I've been lucky to be mentored. I was lucky to find people who helped me when I was starting my career. And I'm here because of those people. They've, they've since passed away. I would think of them a lot. And, wow, you know what? They gave their time. So when you reach that point in your lives, I expect all of you to give back as well. It behooves you, and it's the right thing to do. That's my heavy ending. Sorry, I could have ended funny, but I just felt like the right thing to say. It's for beginning, be maximum service to others around you. Good advice. Thanks, good thanks again, George. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. It was really fun. And I cannot believe she knew that question. I was blown away by it. Nice.